Well, hello, welcome to you. We have a bit of a winter wonderland. Look at the scene in front of us now. Not enough snow, I'm glad to report, to jeopardise the game, though we must keep our fingers crossed that it remains that way. There did have to be a pitch inspection, of course, but the referee was quite content that he would be able to make the requisite decisions, see all of the pitch, all of the lines, as he needs indeed to do. So it is, despite this snow, very much business as usual here. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Two high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Yes, Peter. It's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favor of, of lots of flair, skill, and plenty of tricks, and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here. So it's down to business here. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Alisson. He's an excellent shot stopper, Peter, first and foremost. But he's just as good at creating chances as he is snuffing them out. He can spread the ball out quickly to both wings, whether it be with an accurate long pass or a quick throw. And that places him in the top order of the world's keepers. I'm thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. Promising move that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Kyle Walker. And it's Gundawan. Oh, real danger here. Tries a shot. Appearance and very necessary. De Bruyne, no goals as yet, Gabriel Jesus wants to play it back, and Dyke gets good distance on it. Grealish, Gabriel Jesus gets on the end of it, he's had a shot! Good effort, he got plenty on that. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. Thiago. That'll be a throw in. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Gabriel Jesus. Out to the left it goes. He's there to receive, he's had a go! Try, the outcome could so easily have been different. Sterling certainly could have and should have made more of that.
Van Dijk. Liverpool are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it. Um, yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. Jota. He could... Oh, shooting chance! Greenish. The point goes looking. And it's Gundogan. Now it's Sterling. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Just brushed off the ball there. Gets wrestled off the ball. Gundogan. And the half-time whistle goes. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, Peter, apart from the lack of goals, I really don't think there's, there's much to criticise. I think they've got to keep doing what they've been doing, and eventually they should find a way to the back of the net. Here's hoping for them. Manchester head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Neither team any further forward than they were when they started out. And we're already back underway here. Manchester clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't... Big chance! It's Mohamed Salah. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. <laughs> Sterling. Gabriel Jesus. Grealish. Gabriel Jesus. has that under control Gabriel Jesus Sterling Sterling there is the breakthrough Manchester are looking strong on the break winning the ball in the field is one thing but it's the clever use of counter attacking that's the real highlight Liverpool can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Manchester get themselves into the lead. The perfect display and the old saying comes to mind, when the going gets tough, etc. Matic. Gabriel Jesus. Now it's Sterling. Gabriel Jesus. And here's Grealish. Sterling. Manchester are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Liverpool really are defending from the front. They are, and this type of pressing is a, a case of counter-attacking a counter-attack. It's high octane and high pressure, high fitness. And it's Sterling. Oh, good. And the shot! Taken with style. Two to the good. They have breathing space.
Manchester are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attack in heaven. Liverpool are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for a, a few moments now. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. Well, some fans are already on their way out, so that to me says everything, Peter. Thiago spreads it towards the left. Robertson, and here's Mane. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Thiago with the short one. Puts in a cross. Intervention was very necessary. And that's that. Manchester will be very happy with a job well done. An efficient win, in which the players simply did enough. And your thoughts on today's game, then, Jim? Of course, we all love to watch the creative side of the game and goal scorers, but there's an art to good defence, too, and their organisation and discipline has helped.